Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about the energies and to send you guys some healing energies. We have a lot coming at us for April. April is bringing us so much excitement and so much activity energetically. So I'm going to kind of try the best I can to cover a couple of the astrological highlights and a couple of things happening energetically right now. We're seeing big changes right now already. We're already feeling that eclipse gateway that this month brings. So we're going to start things off really the 17th with a Libra full moon. This is also a pink moon, but it's also the Easter moon. I didn't know until this morning that Easter also rotates around the full moon. So of course, Easter is going to lie on that as well too. And this is a pink moon, but it's also a Libra full moon. The focus this month is relationships. And this Libra moon is so important because it really is going to bring balance and healing to your love life. We have a lot of things happening where if people are in the wrong relationships. Things are really going to come to a head right now and maybe new connections are being manifested within a lot of these energies too. So the focus is all about love right now and union and it's going to really open up its own doorway for the next month ahead as well too. So we have that powerful full moon coming at us the 17th. Are you feeling like the moons are getting stronger? They for sure are. That's because the moon gets its light from the sun. And right now we have big things happening with the sun, big things kicking off energetically. So the moon is kind of getting stronger. We're starting to feel that light coming into the planet and different kind of cosmic energies that are shaking things up. We're becoming more multidimensional the more work that we're putting in. And this eclipse season is going to open big doorways for us as well too. We have a ton of Pleiadian energies coming at us this month and next month and a ton of the energies from Lyra. We're going to see a ton of shooting stars this month. We're going to see, you know, a ton of, um, We'll see light codes continuing to come in. So this month we do have the Lyrids meteor shower, but lots of Lyran energy is coming at us. We have some big activation days this month. The 22nd is the peak of that meteor shower, but also a huge activation day. And when we talk about the Lyrans, you know, this is our ancestors, but also where our cosmic DNA comes from, where humanity comes from. And so originally we had the perfect divine template, what we're trying to shift back to. We have a lot of things within the DNA, a lot of unconscious traumas that go back to past lives, um, you know, relating to the Lyrids. A lot of, we'll say the Orion Wars, suppressed traumas within humanity still that we see. Sometimes people go through traumatic events and stress and some of these things come out because there's a lot of unconscious emotions and even traumas within the DNA that we're healing within these energies. So our job as humans during this time is to activate ourselves and to follow our soul into this ascension. And we're all going to kind of shift into that fifth dimensional state. These are really high frequency energies coming into the planet. We're being blasted with light and we're being encouraged to kind of work with our DNA. And there's a lot of DNA activations coming in this month, especially a lot of you guys might be feeling it in different types of ways as it's bringing things up. It's so important that you're seeing high frequency in these energies. You'll feel so much better. So we do have to learn how to kind of surf the waves coming into the planet. And the frequencies are still really, really high today. We're of course gonna kick off eclipse season too, but, but first we're gonna shift into Taurus season, the 19th. And that's a powerful shift as well too, as we shift out of the masculine energies and back into the feminine. So things are gonna kind of chill out, but it's also gonna continue to bring that focus into changes happening with within work, within relationships, and even finances right now. So some of you guys might have been in that Aries season kind of element. It might have been more focused on yourself or even your ego and things kind of going on. And we're going to shift back on track where some of you guys might be getting back on a financial plan or back to working on your connections and relationships and things that are important as we're shifting more into some of those Taurus energies and even Pleiadian energies because Taurus is very Pleiadian. And then, of course, we are going to have eclipse season for real, which is going to come April 30th. This technically is the second new moon of the month, although it's not a blue moon, but it is the the second moon and it's going to bring us a partial solar eclipse. Eclipses are powerful. The changes are going to be felt obviously beforehand. Now 
through the next six months, but eclipses are here to activate different things. So they will bring about change if you've been resisting or if you need it. And we're seeing them play such a powerful role. And this one's also going to be in the element of Taurus. And that's powerful for activating our destiny and things that are destined to play out are. And this awakening is something that's destined. So a lot of people are being woken up, shaken, shaken up right now as they're being kind of shifted towards this ascension, which is our destiny. And so we have things activating for, you know, new opportunities opening up, new timelines. So this month is going to open up so many probabilities, opportunities, timelines. So staying positive over the next few weeks is going to bring big results. We're also in powerful manifesting out energies. I can really, really feel them today, right? High frequencies coming in. Amazing for manifesting, but also make sure you're taking care of yourself. You may be guided to slow down a little bit, to rest, to do extra healing right now, to do extra clearing work as we're kind of integrating some of these energies. So pay attention to how you're doing. Make sure you're also grounding right now. Let's see, I put a ton of events up in my shop this morning and also on Facebook so you can find them easier. Make sure you guys are going to my site. I'm going to be around for healing sessions if you need them today. I'm also around on, you know, for the events kind of coming up too. So I did put up a couple of activations. I'll be working with those Lyran energies, which can be amazing for our ascension and even, you know, our journey and awakening ourselves more as star seeds. And also I put up a couple of meditations we're going to be doing. I'm sending you guys so much love and good vibrations. I'm here if you need me through my site. The link is always on my videos.